I'm Aaron from Phonedog.com and the Galaxy Note 2 Challenge continues. Here is what I found out in a few more days of testing with Samsung's iconic tablet device. The Note 2 Challenge continues on for another day and one thing I'm really noticing about this device this time around, the size is getting to me again. It's a 5.5 inch display. Like I talked about in the previous video, the Day 16 Challenge video, I'm finding that the size is a little bit too big for me. That's not to say that it won't be great for a lot of people and like I keep saying in the videos, I think this will be a great device for people that are traveling on a regular basis that need that big 3,100 milliamp hour battery because they're traveling so much and yeah, it may be a big device, but that's just a sacrifice they'll have to make. I mean, compare this to the iPhone 5, compare it even to the Galaxy S3, which I don't believe I have one over here, but the Droid Incredible 4G LTE, it's a big device with a big display. That said, it's great for content creation. We've gone over a lot of that in the previous videos, but what I want to focus on this time around is the camera. This is something I'm finding particularly useful with a couple of new features. We'll come into camera, for example, and I actually, I, I did a reset earlier because uh, I had a pesky download notification that would not go away, so I had to do a reset there but you can see a couple of different video modes here single shot best shot or best photo rather best faces i'm really a fan of these because it'll let you choose obviously as it sounds the best photo or the best faces i'm also a fan of buddy photo share smile shot and share shot so let's say you go to a wedding you go to a special event with somebody they've got a galaxy s3 they've got a galaxy note 2 they can go in and you guys can set up kind of like a home wi-fi network if you will and when you take pictures, when they take pictures, they all appear in each other's phones. So let's say you're like me, I forget to take pictures, maybe I take one or two, but I have that friend that takes a picture every 12 seconds, and they have 100 pictures. Well, if I have four and they have 100, both of us will end the day with 104 pictures in our folder, thanks to uh, ShareShot and Buddy PhotoShare. So that's pretty useful as well. Buddy PhotoShare is actually a different thing. It's where you can tag your friend uh, in the picture. So there are a lot of different tagging options and really kind of integration with social media if you will work, you can make this device your own, you can tag your friends, and more, I'm finding that particularly useful. Other things that I enjoy, this was on the Galaxy S3, but while recording something, you can of course take still shots, and that's nothing new, we've seen that in several devices in the past, but that ability combined with some awesome features, and I'll go ahead and stop that, and go back here so you can take a look. That feature combined with some of the awesome features here, and then some of the awesome, uh, the front facing camera, which is pretty decent as well, hello, and then of course, your uh, setting stuff here, as you can see, shooting mode, effects, exposure value, timer, all that stuff really makes for a great camera on this device. So it's a great camera, much like the Samsung Galaxy S3. It's a fantastic camera. I took some pictures over the weekend while leaf watching and found it to be a really impressive performance all around. So that's something I'm really impressed with. You know, you always ask what I'm using at this particular time. Really, my focus this weekend was on the camera, but I continue to be really impressed with the battery life on this device. 3,100 milliamp hour battery, and like I said, the 4G LTE version and T-Mobile's HSPA Plus, yeah, they'll take some battery life from it. 4G LTE especially because it's such a battery draining technology, but I will say that battery is nice and large, and I'm still loving the S Note features, as you can see here. So I'll bring out the S Pen, and like I've covered in some previous videos, I'm just loving the additional stuff they've added to the Note 2 that they really needed to add to the Note 1, but these kind of revisionary things that are really nice. Recommended shortcuts, for example, pop out whenever I pull out the S Pen or whenever I plug in my headphones. It'll say, hey, you know what? We thought you pulled this out. Here's what you probably want to do. You probably want to use S Memo. You probably want to look at the gallery and more. That's a really useful feature there. And of course, this one is as well. And I did a reset, so let me see if the video is actually still here. It may not be here. Yeah, there it is. The hovering over stuff. Not necessarily something you'd use on a daily basis, but I find little features like that to be particularly useful. You can hover over and see a preview here. You can hover over and see a preview in the gallery. You can hover over and take a look at that video. You can, of course, take still shots. And that's nothing new. We've seen that in several devices. As you can see right there. So really useful all around. Keep it locked on PhoneDog.com for continuing coverage of the Galaxy Note 2 Challenge. A few more videos to go. Will I keep this device past the 30 days? What new things will I find in the home stretch? We'll find out on PhoneDog.com. So stay tuned. In the meantime, like us on Facebook and be sure to follow me on Twitter, PhoneDog underscore Aaron, and on Facebook at Facebook.com slash PhoneDogAB. Stay tuned for the next challenge video on PhoneDog.com.